Hey guys, Gage from PSP Kingston. We're gonna chat through some kettlebell training today. This session would be best done with a bell you could press maybe five to eight times on each arm. Not overly heavy, but I will give you guys some recommendations if your bell falls above or below that range. It's a two-parter. Your first part's gonna be descending reps 10 to one on the kettlebell swing, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Between each set, do a set of five goblet squats with the same weight. 10 swings, five squats, nine swings, five squats. Attempt to do this without setting the bell down. By doing the goblet squat, you'll be giving your hands a little break, so it should be a reasonable warm-up piece. Your main piece today is gonna to be against a 15-minute timer. I want you guys to accumulate as many sets as you can in 15 minutes. Start with single arm kettlebell press, three to five reps per side. If you can press the only bell you have for like 10, you might wanna add a couple reps to each of these. So three to five, up to maybe seven or eight if you have a very light bell on the press. We're gonna double those numbers for the row, so somewhere between six and eight. Do both on the right, both on the left, then a quick 30 second plank. Shake your arms out, get back to both on the right, both on the left. Get through as many sets as you can in 15 minutes. You'll have a great full body session today. Follow us at PSP Kingston on all social media to get any more workout tips, wellness stuff, anything you need. On the swing, the bell's gonna start out in front of us. We're gonna softly bend the knees, hinge ourselves down towards the bell, back stays flat. We're gonna hike the bell back, use a big hip extension. to drive the bell up around between waist and nipple height. Arms stay nice and straight, soft grip on the handle. We want to extend from the hips, all lower body here. Goblet squat, we got to get the bell in place first. So we're going to go handle down, both arms underneath, hold it like a goblet to reinforce a good posture for us. From the side, we're going to go uh, feet just outside the hips. We're going to let the hips sink down between our knees, press the knees out, keep an upright torso. From the front, you guys can see I'm grasping the bell here, right in front of the chest. On the kettlebell clean, we use this to rack the bell for our presses, sometimes for our goblet squats. It's also an exercise in its own right. So we're gonna grab the bell. We start from hang here. Basically, the bell is hanging. It doesn't come from the ground. We're gonna hinge a little bit, extend through the hips, bring the bell up to the rack position. I'm gonna show you guys from the side, we need to stay tight in the upper back through here. So this would be good. Tight squeeze to the hips. We don't wanna get sloppy. This would be bad. Hey guys, quick movement demo on the kettlebell press. We're gonna start by racking the bell. Handles out front, hands gonna be in the center. We don't wanna rack out here or up here. Rack from here, we're gonna press without using the legs. Strict press overhead without overextending. This would be good. This would be bad. Alignment through the shoulders, hips and knees, strict shoulder press. For the row, we're gonna approach the bell, bell's on the ground, feet on either side, we're gonna hinge, keep the back flat, grasp the bell, pull from our elbow until our upper arm is in line with our body, extend the elbow, keeping a neutral spine, Pull the shoulders back as we row. Quick plank demo, guys. A couple of points of uh, consideration in terms of performance. We can go from elbows or from hands. I'll demo both for you guys. If we go from elbows, we'll be here. Hands will be pressed up. Back stays flat. Shoulders are engaged. Elbows are locked out. Feet together, feet apart. If we need a bit more of a base of support here. PSP Kingston the health and wellness provider for the military community.